I closed my front door the other day and a tile fell out. I was uh, very surprised by that because as you can see, it's got plenty of stuff on it. I guess it kind of got over dry. It didn't break the tile, so I'm going to take all this out. And the ones outside are not as thick. And I don't know what I used to hold them in there, but I think it's a little better. But damn, if it's just not always something, isn't it? So I've got this stuff. And let me tell you something, folks. I don't like that stuff. Uh, even if there is free of it, it kind of smells funny and dries too fast. And I don't think it's as good as just your plain old everyday liquid nails. So I've got my little pry bar here. And uh, I have to do this two-handed because I I can't run the risk. What's going on here? Oh, it is recording. It's my sunglasses makes the screen look black. I know. Okay. I was sure the camera turned off, and this is not a GoPro, so I thought that that would have been weird. But I don't want a tile falling off and bouncing back and breaking anything, so I'm a little nervy about this. So what I'm going to do is, uh, where did I put it? I'm going to, uh, well, I got it somewhere. I'm going to tape all this together with some masking tape, and uh, so uh, they, you know, they won't, they'll be kind of one piece. Uh, oop, where's that blue tape? There it is. I decided to use this stuff, this duct tape. Oh, hold on. Let me see who it is. Okay, so anyway, you, we'll see this in a minute. Oh, it's, it's Mick. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Pause! What's happening, pal? Well, what have we here? Let's see what's going to roll up to the old stable. Could it be? Here? There it is. The old wreck of the 97 there. <laughs> All right, let's get him on the lift. So today's endeavor will be put this uh, splash pan back under this car. We hope that that's going to work out okay. There's a little lizard way over there. Same under my lift. And uh, we get, he he hadn't crank he got a new Robin Air fifteen five hundred I think that's what it is is that right and uh, yeah fifteen five hundred pump it's never been run before I've never seen a green stink bug that's okay we're getting ready to uh, strike it up for the first time and see how it see how it does so uh, let's see how it, we got, got the oil in it that's about where I ended up on mine so when you get if you get one of these. You're supposed to change this oil more frequently than I do, but I don't see much point in it. But anyway, it's all up to you. Let's get her cranked up. You never dreamed that you'd hear Mele Kaliki Maka, especially on this hot October day. Hawaiian noises. So I don't think we'll be getting the air compressor in the boot of the Alexis. That's too bad. There might be some other stuff over there for you. I don't know where he went. What you doing? Oh, he's on the phone. I should have known. I think everybody, everybody's doing this because they saw me do it. What do you think? I doubt it. Okay, so here's the way she works. Uh, I want you to be the first one. So I made you the special pickup thing here. And you'll find it better to screw the bottle sometimes. Ooh, what? Well, messy. And that old dirty old Lexus stuff. So this does need to be, you have to grasp it firmly there, you know, not too much. And then, uh, okay, and I think I got that about right. Well, let's see. Oh, we can go on this one. Here you go. I, you never know. You never know where you go. Here you go, put that on there. See if that goes on there. And we're gonna give her the go for the first time. Okay, that works pretty good. Okay. Okay, so uh, here's your what you're gonna suck into the bottle. And uh, I want you to do it. It's your, it's your toy, it's your new thing. He got it for his birthday. Okay, let's hope it works. You don't have to have that right away. I mean you, you can run, you don't you can run without pulling something. Alright! 
Mine was a little cheeky about it. It was just testing one, two, three. Cool. Ooh, there you go. Oh, I've got an air. I probably pulled it out when it was still sucking. Yeah. I've got some air in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's always a like so. Like that. There it's you good go. though. It tells you it's building up a good uh Yeah, so if you get one of these, don't be concerned about the steam coming out of the vent. And make sure that vent's a little bit open. You know. There you go. I'll well, get that. level's about right. I'll put a little bit more in. Yeah. Too much is what? Ooh, Nothing steamy. Too much. So what are all the, the pie pie sayings that we still say to this day? You're only saying that because it's true. <laughs> Enough she's a too much. <laughs> what other pie pie things are there? There's a couple. I can't think of any Reds is reds, greens is greens. Remember, I had an album, a little 45, a record. Red means stop and green means go. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm not even going to do it on here, but I know all the words of that. I'm embarrassed to say. Oh, that's not that's not too bad. I know all the words to lots of stuff. It's kind of weird. I use that. You know what I use that for? My, what? my floors. It just, it kind of makes the floors clean. Yeah. And look, it's still pulling. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I think this is far better than mine. Mine doesn't seem to do that so much. Or maybe it's just because I got all this better up here. I think I got, you got better seals than I got on mine. Okay, all right, well, let's, let's get her in the air. And What else did you want to do? You want to put this pan on? I wouldn't mind, uh, mind evacuating with my new evacuator. I wouldn't mind evacuating my brake fluid up here. Okay, okay, cool. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to, you, we're going to stop these cracks. You know, stop cracks, right? You drill a hole at the, at the crack end right here, oh, and then good. you can feel it. I learned that on a, on a Triumph a gear, uh, overdrive box. Yeah. It was cracked, and the welder drilled a little hole at the end of the crack and re-welded it. And, and, he, and I asked him, why'd you drill a hole in it? I didn't know. I was like, I was like 12. And he said, uh, it'll, it'll make the crack stop running. Yeah. And it only, oh. makes, only, only makes sense. So, if you know, we'll do that on here. We'll get this fixed up. So, let's, let's go up here and look at your... Uh, that's all that Daphne leaked in like three weeks. I can't... It's just those two little stains. I can't believe it. That's amazing. I had a big long talk with a fast Monty about the, the solid seals like we put in the gladiator. Yeah. Those rear seals. And he they make them one piece and you can curl them in instead of two piece, but you have to cut them anyway. But uh, I told him I had done that to the 305 and to uh, the Bonneville and they don't leak a drop. Oh man, that's dark. It's just me catching on something there. Here you go, I, I gotta show you my new light. So this thing's great, not a sponsor. So you'll, you got real bright, you got nice bright, you got flashlight or, or ultraviolet, and then off. Nice. So it's, I thought the ultraviolet light, you know, for tracing. Oh, I wanted to show you that too. Uh, so next time you need some UV dye, I bought that. Okay. So if you got any leaks, don't, don't go buying any. I bought a big old thing of it. All right. So uh, here you go. Here's your light. And the thing I like about it, and this this is this this bears repeating. The cheaper ones, if you turn it on there, and you let it stay a minute, it'll just turn off. Mm -hmm. And if you got you got to kind of move quick to get to the, the the more softer light. 
and, and then it'll just turn off. The other ones you have to go through the whole flipping cycle, but this one you probably would like that more than anything. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. Well, let's go, let's go up, purge that out. Give me the dump, the fluid that's in the. Yeah, it's just stuff. water. It's just water. Okay, I'll dump it out. So he found today, after five hours of labor, it was injector number two on the 91. So bright. Let's try it. Oh, there we go. That's that's pretty cool there. This will have that crazy screen in it. You got some uh, brake fluid. You can just dump it right there. You got some brake fluid in a plastic bottle we can use. <laughs> you don't do that. Right, let's see. I don't know how. I think I got plenty. Yeah, I got plenty. I got a whole nother can. This is what you want. I got a fresh, I got like one and a, one and a half quarts. So what did you learn about brake fluid from Scotty Kilmer? I don't know, I just got to, somehow or another, I just fiddled far around, so I clicked on this thing that said the brake, the best brake fluid you can buy, and then it had a link to some review he had done, or some instructional piece. Well, the, there's three, four, five, five is silicone, and 5.1 is not silicone. So the only thing that's silicone is five, and you cannot mix them. Yep, that's, so, what, that's what I learned. Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's the thing to learn. Learn on that deal. Okay, let's get that. I'm kind of liking my outlets I put up there. They're switched to the lights, but I, that's okay. Let's uh, let's get a, a brake fluid is so corrosive. We're gonna just do this. I've done this so many times. I'm not gonna do show you guys what I'm gonna do. Suck it out, put it in. So the thing's got so much vacuum, you can vacuum the dirt up out of out, you know, just look down in there and get all you can. Now I'll tell you this, I'm not above doing this, but I don't know if I can recommend it to most people. You see how you can't get it out of the back? Yeah. You got a choice here. You can try to get it with a flexible tube through that vent, or you can drill a hole up there. I've done that before to get the old fluid out. But it's up to you to get that fluid out of the back. I'll just let it be in here. I'd be, I'd be drilling the hole, but everybody's different. And just put some silicone over it. It's done. Patch it. Well, I'm going to pull it out anyway. So what we had to do was... Uh, where did we look? We lost that little hose again. Where did the little hose go? Uh, I don't know. I think we lost that. So, uh, what we did was we uh, drilled a little hole right here, it probably is. one eighth. Okay. Put it over here. Okay, so we got, and then I had this old vacuum hose off of TR6 or something. And then we were, you can't get down in there, so we. We got this and, and was able to get all the fluid out of the reservoir where you can just measure up, you know, where it goes. And then I found this little, see that's a solid plug and it can go either way. So now, next time you want to do it, you're all set to go. Nice. And uh, anyway, uh, well, there's your fluid. Right here? Yeah. I may use some of this one. You may use that and open another can if you want to just like so yeah then just there's a special pour anything or anything okay pour it the port pour it the other way here look look me it's kind of hard to hard to tell you like this uh like uh like that so you won't get the gluck gluck effect the earl earl gluck you know earl gluck was i think he was the first man to when the broadcaster of the water, it's named after him. You remember now, that? Now, are we going to be able to get the fluid back into that? Yeah, I guess it's going it's, back it's in It's going to go through those screens. Cool. Let it settle and just go up to the... Uh, that looks a, a dang sight better. Okay, just a little bit that size. Okay. That's better. Okay, I'll take that. 
that's probably useless now, but got most of it anyway. So that's uh so by the time you get home you'll probably find that to be kind of dark, but it's still far better than it was. You you probably just got an ounce and a half of water out of that system, which is good. Okay, we're going to uh, we're going to get fancy here. I'm going to do some plastic welding. Okay, so uh, all you got to do is find your end, drill a hole in it. Okay, that's all there is to it. I'm not going to make you hold camera or anything. Always handle your camera with fiberglass. So what I've done here is I've drilled holes in the uh, cracks. I have gotten some Super 77 and some fiberglass, and then I, I tamp it down. That's why I look like that, if you're wondering. And I think we're going to be better off, because those holes, if you remember when you looked at it previously, let me drop my cam box here, uh, they were kind of elongated. So let's mix up some resin and make this nice. Ugh. Okay, everybody, we're... I've got the fiberglass done and the drilling done, and I'll show you all that in a minute. So, uh, go on the inside or out? I don't know. Let's see if it's been as long as I had it up there. I can't remember myself. Well, it's got to, it's got to curve up to go up into this, so you, you got it upside down, I think. Yeah, I, I think this is the... I think this is the way she goes right here. Yeah, the curvature of the earth there is it's right here. Yeah, it goes right there, I think. Yeah. And it just, it doesn't lip up under it, does it? Uh, this is a simple so. matter. You've had some little scrapey doos here. That happens. I don't think I've ever seen any cherries on a glacier, but, uh, ooh, God, that stuff is nasty. Okay, this is going fairly well. Let me show everybody what we got going here. Uh, you, you can stay there. Somebody cut this off so they don't hit right there. And uh, let me get, let me get some. Where's that thing? Must be over here. There it is. I see one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this was my fiberglass work, and there are receivers up in there that are threaded. It kind of surprised me, but they're, it's some kind of finer metric thread, 8.8, or it don't matter what it is. I think that's going to serve you well. And you found all those? You feel good about those? I do. And uh, there's whatever drain that is. I guess that's, for, that's a rain drain for something up front. So I didn't tighten those up all the way. And so the trick to these is to pour on both sides so you kind of make a fiberglass sandwich like I did in the Spitfire some years ago with stop signs. Did you know that? Uh -huh. Behind the seats on Spitfire is some suspension members. And it, uh, it more or less just uh, is no good. So I, 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 what I like to do, see how I got signs over there? I cut them up and I make a I get a bunch of that tiger hair yeah. Bondo and yeah. I make a great big thick fiberglass sandwich. That was the car you might remember I took it to get it line because it's four wheel independent. And now I was lucky because the guy said, oh it's okay. No. Remember we had the body off that car. <laughs> yeah. Okay and then here you go. Just pull those up and then there's your cutters. I'll let you do that to your, look at that. It looks more tidy anyway. I don't think I'll get my soldering iron and solder those. You'll probably be okay. A lot of times, gang, I will, I will, when I cut off the ends in order not to cut yourself, I saw, I get a, and I can sort of melt those into place. And you can do that too. And it locks them real good if you're careful and they won't cut you. So, watch it, watch my hand. Okay. So, uh, anyway. Let's see what she looks like when she's done. So give her a, give her a whop there. Whoa, that's nice and foam. Hmm. <laughs> I feel pretty good about that. That thing hadn't been on there in years. 
Yeah, and the story is I got blessed out by Max and Ruth at Better Wrench in Chapel Hill for cutting a hole in mine to, for the drain. You don't have to cut a hole in it to get to that. That's nice. And because uh, they say it has, this has a lot to do with the airflow. And, uh, and of course, stuff going up in there. And like I wrote uh, Pine Hollow about, you know, keeping the rain on. You got some on the sides, and they seem to be okay. But look at this, though. Do you want to put some ties? Come, come back over here a second. See, let's put some pull ties on these and stabilize those. That could go wackety wacky in the, going down the road. Both of those are. You want me? Let's drill a hole in. Uh, just put pull tie right there. You want to do that? Sure. Okay. Okay. So let's take a show you what we did. These these were floppy on the sides. Uh, I'm going to dedicate my life to more light. So these, you know, here's the front right wheel. And then you just uh, yeah, cut that one off for us. And uh, that stabilizes everything. That ties the side ones and the bottom one in together. I like that. Man, that's, that's really nice and tight. Good and tight. I don't think you need to worry about right here. Yeah. So that's uh, that's pretty much a done deal. So that, you know, what did it cost us in fiberglass? 87 cents and maybe a dollar's worth of pull ties. Yeah. And then uh, all you need is a little time. Okay, now when you're doing fi mixing fiberglass, I'm just gonna show everybody, you always put your old brush down in there. So what happens here is you can do this that's why it, the lid is a mixing thing because the fiberglass won't stick to it and you just take it out of there like that. And then it's, you got yourself a nice clean thing. And then you can put this on your uh, desk and it looks you know, look like that. Isn't that cool? Isn't that funny? Nah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got it. Turn the... I'll let that sit for a couple more days, but it'll just peel out of there and you can just use it. It's brand new again. So there. So that's a, yeah, I think yours works better than mine. I love this thing. Yeah, you're gonna find a lot of use for it. Heck yeah. So do you, uh, here, you need a towel or something to, you, I, a guy gave me a nice box of towels. Oh, that was you. <laughs> Don't use those, cause those, do, those are a special, special purpose. I've got one. <laughs> you do let's get him something to wrap that in I don't think he needs so if anybody's I do have enough of these don't I oh come on we'll give him this because that ain't no good to him <laughs> this stuff's got polyester in it it's like my dad's business partner, the fiber of his being was polyester. So wrap that thing in that stuff so that brake fluid won't get. Oh, you already got it in there pretty tight, don't you? Okay, well that's okay. We'll take it anyway. <laughs> All right, well the time comes from... I've been treating these ant peels. I can see where I sprayed. The fire ants? Yeah, I've been treating that with that, but I, I've been trying to get the weeds down for... Fire ant queen can live up to seven years to be about 1,500 eggs a day. The workers only live about four or five weeks. I don't care, just kill them. Yeah, the rain really brought them out. Sure enough. Okay, so I've almost decided to keep that old stove as a workbench up here. There's my old sink over there, Mixie. Yep. You, did you see Sean and I threw in the kitchen sink? <laughs> one of my little gimmicks. So here's where I cut all the tile, wet cut. So uh, yeah, it's a good work surface. Yeah, I thought that was okay. So if, if you spill something, it just runs down in there. So. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, beauty. Nice and cool. Wipe your muddy boots. So what do you think of the sink and everything? Oh, that's big time, Chief. 
Just dress as a place right on up. And look at here. Look at your nice little shelf there. Yeah, did that. Won't that be effective? And I also, I couldn't stand the big gaps here, so I kind of, I, I made that real flush. Yeah. And uh, so, see what I did with the pie safe you gave me? Oh, yeah, I got her up in the air, so it sounds good. Yeah. And aren't you the wise one to put that little accent strip in there? You like that? Yeah. And you must have seen the other video where I talked about it. But I didn't. No, I just noticed it. Just you did? Okay. <laughs> The, the, video, the video I saw, I stopped at, you were right over, you were getting ready to do this, and you said, don't worry about these little yeah. knob things here, that's just part of the, the texture. Character. Yeah. It's character. Right. I used to tell people that when I mess something up. Well, that's just character. <laughs> and so this is this was fun to do. These little corners are always fun to cut. That bull nose? Yeah. That, nice. that, that, that takes about 20 minutes to get get one of those to keep working. So, uh, and then you can come in here in the bathroom. Ooh, nice and cool in here. I see I did the blue stripe there, and I ran it down through here. Oh, yeah. And I put uh, some tile over there to kind of, you know, make it a little brighter. And I'm telling you, it. Chief, you just, you just really done a lot with the place. <laughs> Your imagination is $100. You would never know that was an orange crate. Once I get it painted, you'll know. <laughs> Okay, you use the facilities there. Okay, well, let's uh, we're gonna get a nice cool one here. I've only got like 20 minutes, I gotta go. Okay, let's see, we got it here. We're gonna do this thing right. We always do this thing right. There's that. Close that door quick enough. Okay, nothing fell out. <laughs> I got us some, uh, smells like feta cheese in there. Because it, there is feta cheese in there. I made the pizza last night. Thank you, Chief. I didn't use the uh, Carl and Esther official bottle opener there. Ooh, icy. That might be a little too icy, but that's okay. Hey, sit over there. So just sit over there, please. Where? Oh, over the, no, right there, right there in that right area. Right, right here. Right here. Please. <laughs> I made that place just for you. <sighs> for me and my leg. The story of the big door. There's the big door where Jocelyn fouled up. Remember that story? Yeah. And then she made, she said, well, you, you still have to buy another door. And then I pissed him off and I said, well, I want the old door. <laughs> And I have I have suffered and hauled that thing, and it's a it's a beast to move, but it's the principle of the damn thing. It's about a six thousand dollar door. Isn't it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so they put the wrong glass in it, but she's kind of taking a beating. But I just said I want that door back. This is from I was like seven years old, six years old maybe I think it was six and a half. And we got my that's just the first radio control car body. From Heath Kit. Oh well, well, well. I got one up this is a whole lot better. That was sort of a test case, but yeah. I've had that for a long time. But yeah, I, I put her up here real solid. I got I'm just kinda chill that I hope that's her final resting place. <laughs> Cause I can barely move that thing by myself. You either gotta build a house around the door. Around the door or just use it as a lovely garni. <laughs> They, I, I just knew they were ripping me off. I just knew it. So we got the pan under. We rain next the windscreen. I did some clear coat paint over here and sort of trimmed this up a little bit. Made it a little shiny again. And uh, it's $2,800 minimum to paint this car. So we're just trying to keep it going. And uh, there you go. You got your gangsta double antennas. Oh, well, was, uh, there was a little patch over there. See how that works. This is the coach edition of the L LS four hundred. This is where the antenna used to go, and uh, anyway, you got to put them up there like that. So she's doing fine. We did some other little things, nothing big, just kind of a day at a day at the farm. Ooh, there's a bunch of that left. Let's put that back in the fridge. Okay, he'll be leaving in a second. Sounds pretty good. 
Blackie. Blackie the Lexi. Uh, let's close door number two. Okay. Another happy customer. And there he goes back to the big berg. All right, that's it. Give me a thumbs up. Ooh, and out of focus, thumbs up. So focus your thumb on the like button and the subscribe button. Smash them. Like, subscribe, share, and all that stuff. I gotta go, so we'll talk later. I got a bunch of uh, diesel fuel injection pumps to build. Not a bunch, too, but that'll take me about four or five hours. So another fun day so the gin stun's holding up that's looking fine i guess it's been about a year now i put that ladder up but every time i put it up i need it so if i leave it there i don't need it so i imagine it to be a bump stop for front tires on my car although i don't park right there but if it cools off i'll do all this stuff. sheesh tired i gotta go thanks for watching bye bye